Hi there, everybody. This is Lester, and thank you for joining me again for a YouTube video. In the coming months, I'll be doing a job on my 24, almost 24-year-old vehicle, and what I will be doing is replacing my fuel injector O-rings. And because my vehicle is so old, there's a very good possibility that when I'm removing my fuel injector plugs, I'm going to break these plastic tabs right here. Uh, this is an example of uh, the exact connector that uh, will plug into my fuel injector on my vehicle. And I've got about eight of these on standby because I anticipate at least breaking one or two of the plastic tabs on these connectors when I'm unplugging my fuel injectors. Uh, to remove these from the injector, you have to squeeze this tab and then you pull the plug off. And these are very likely going to break. So anticipating this job, uh, I've also thought about the fact that I am going to have to splice this connector onto the wiring coming off of my engine harness. I will have to uh, clip the old fuel injector plug at the base and then I'm going to have to strip the insulation off of the copper wire so that I can splice in this plug. And one of the reasons that I'm really dreading doing this job, where I was dreading it, is because this, before I purchased this tool, which is a superior wire stripping tool, uh, my plan was to use this tool, which um, from time to time I screw up and I, uh, when I'm in the process of removing the insulation, I usually break some of the conductors, some of the copper wire that's underneath. And with this being my fuel injection system, I definitely don't want to compromise any of the conductors going uh, to my fuel injectors. So let me give you a, a, a little rundown of how this tool works and we'll do a little demo. An automatic wire stripping tool. So you don't have to know, you don't have to guess what gauge wire that you're cutting and it's pretty much a no-brainer this looks uh, like there might be a lot to it but there's really not you have two knobs here you have this knob here which you if you tighten it it keeps this little keeper in you just unloosen it and you can push this thing out and flip it down you tighten your knob back up and you're ready to use the tool. This is the uh, tensioning knob right here. So what this knob is gonna do is, it's gonna dictate how much tension these biters push down onto the insulation of your wire. And when you squeeze this thing, the, the uh, wire will get grabbed and the blades will pull, cut and pull away the insulation. Now this knob right here, if I turn it clockwise, I can increase how, how hard this thing bites down onto the insulation. And since I'm going to be being very careful and I don't want to damage or put too much tension onto wires that are coming off of my engine harness, I'm going to turn this counterclockwise as far as I can. It does stop and it does not, the, the little uh, screw here does not, the little knob does not come out. It'll just stop when you have it at the least amount of tension that you can keep on it. And that's my plan going into it. I'll keep the least amount of tension onto it because I don't want to go cutting into my engine harness and, and screw up because you only have so many tries until you, you're not going to have enough wire and then you're really going to have problems. So let's just go ahead and do a little demo. You just put the wire through there and this thing is going to strip about right where this right where this is uh, separated here. So wherever the wire is underneath that is where it's gonna strip from, and here we go. And just like that, perfectly removed insulation, and then you can just get your fingernail underneath there, and you can wiggle that off. And you have beautiful wire that is not cracked or broken. And then you can take and splice in on your new connector. 
and there you go. You're not going to screw up your engine harness or whatever other whatever other project you're working on. So there it is, the Klein Tool Wire Stripper. It's a game changer for me. I hope you guys uh, found this video useful. And if you have any kind of electrical work coming up, <clears throat> it's a great tool to consider to have in your arsenal. So thank you for checking out the video. Please give it a like. Please subscribe. It helps the channel. And I appreciate it. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys in that next video. Bye-bye now.